Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to teach you how to shoot with a curve. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is this, uh, it's the angle. So what's important, um, if the goal is over there, don't stand here like in a straight line. Always make sure uh, you have a little bit of an angle. So at least right here, um, at this position, you can get uh, a lot of power, uh, but less curve. Just a little curve and pretty a lot of power. If you're standing right here, you can get a lot of cur curve, but less power. So it's important for you to think by yourself like, what do I want? Do I want a lot of curve or a lot of power? And I have to say, um, this is more the David Beckham way. And if you're standing right here, it's more the messy way. So number two, it's the run up. Um, the first thing what I always do is when the ball is laying still um, and I'm right footed, put my left foot uh, beneath the ball and take a few steps back Something like four steps um, and then for me, it's the right distance to the ball and I got the right angle um, What you can do is of course you can take like three steps. I won't advise you to do less than three steps When you're right here, it's way too hard to get a lot of power. You can get a little bit of curve, but power is pretty hard and when you don't shot, shoot with a little bit of power, it's easier for the goalkeeper to save the ball. So I would say at least three steps. And of course you can make more than four steps, like five or six. Um, it's easier to shoot with power, um, but it's harder to uh, make it really accurate. And in the end, just figure out what's best for you, what feels best for you and um, just go practicing and try three steps, four steps, five steps. So the next important thing um, is this. Of course, where do you want to touch uh, the ball with your, uh, with your boot? Uh, when you shoot the messy way, so with more power but less curve, you shoot with this part. Uh, so it's not exactly the middle, a little bit up front of the middle and um, more the David Beckham way, so with more curve, uh, you touch it right here. And next up, I'm gonna show you where to hit exactly the ball on the, on the football itself. So where to hit the football exactly? Um, when you do it the messy way, it's right here. So you get a little bit of curve because you hit it not in the middle, but a little bit on the outside. If you want more curve like David Beckham, you hit it right here with a little bit more um, on the outside so you get more, more spin. So the further you hit it on the outside, the more spin, the further to the middle, the less spin you get. And of course it's, it's important when you want to, the ball to go up to hit it below the middle. If you hit it right here, it stays on the ground. If you hit it right here, you push it into the ground and like I said, a little bit under the middle and a little bit to the side. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is this, uh, it's the run up. So we've got a ball right here, I'm going to take a few steps back. So right now I've got the right position for me. Uh, one important thing I want to say is this. Um, if you're standing here when you're practicing or taking a free kick, uh, don't try to think too much. It makes it way harder. Just focus on the ball, on the uh, top corners or wherever you want to shoot at, and just shoot. It makes it way harder when you're constantly thinking like, maybe the goalkeeper is gonna save it, maybe I hit the wall, maybe this or that. It doesn't work. Just really focus on the spot and the goal you want to hit. 
and focus on the ball. Just take a look, run up, shoot. That's everything. That's important for the mindset. Um, the next thing when you're really gonna run up to the ball, so you stay, take a few steps. And what I do when I, right here, I do this and this. So what, I'm, what I really do is I use not only my foot or my leg to shoot, but my whole body. If I would shoot like this, it's, you can get the curve, but you don't get any power. It's really easy to say for the goalkeeper. So what you do is, when you're right here, you do this, and then with your chest, with your arm, you're really gonna open up. So let's say you a little bit make yourself uh, small, you close a little, move in this way and then then it's way easier to make to uh, shoot with a lot of power and you can uh, take a look at, look at uh, videos of David Beckham you're really gonna see that he uses his whole body so just do that and then we're going to the next step and the next thing is the swing through so um, when you do it the messy way, so with a lot of power, a little bit of curve, um, the swing through is this. And when you do it the David Beckham way, you, got, uh, you do it a lot more, so you do this. And it's important to swing through in the d direction you want the ball to go. So if you want uh, to shoot at the right, uh, corner, I'm gonna focus on that, walk up and really swing through to that in that direction. And a few important things I want you to know are these. Uh, when you really want to shoot with power, it's important that you really own the technique. Um, with a power sh with a shot with power. It's 70% the technique and just 30% the power and the strength you put into the shot. So don't try to force it, um, just practice a lot on the technique. And when you do that right, even if you're not that strong, you're really gonna shoot with power. And the second thing is this, um, when you're, for example, right footed like me, it's important um, when you, at the moment you shoot, the, your foot is right here, if it's too far away, you can take a good shot, same if, you, uh, if your foot is right here. And that's when I take a free kick, I put the ball down. The first thing I'm gonna do is this, put my left foot right here, take a few big steps back, so you can go wrong. When I run up, my foot is always here. So that makes it a little bit easier. So these are, these are a few important things, and like I said, the most important is to practice a lot. Uh, practice makes perfect and in the end you will score a lot of goals. And what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to show you a few examples of shots like Messi and David Beckham. So this is already the end of the video. Uh, please let me know in the comments, what's your favorite technique? It's more the Messi way with the power or maybe the David Beckham way with the curve. So let me know in the comments, please like and subscribe and see you in the next video.